The Theatre Guide project offers a rare chance to visit backstage and see the parts of the play that no one else gets to see. Today, the Astana Times joined a group of visitors to see the behind scenes of the Astana Ballet Theatre just an hour before the staging of Cinderella. Established in 2021, the Theatre Guide aims to popularize theatre through informative tours led by art historians. An hour before the curtain call, visitors can take an interior tour followed by a lecture about the context and significance of each performance. Across the hidden hallways, dressing rooms and backstage spaces of the Astana Ballet Theatre, preparation is well underway for Cinderella. The guide smoothly delivers functions of the items we see on our way across the dark backstage hall. I have a question. Why do you think all backstage areas are painted black? Can I answer? So that if something is painted, it won't stand out too much or won't be visible. Yes, indeed. You might have learned in school that black color absorbs light. This is precisely to ensure that nothing from backstage interferes with the action that takes place on stage, but also that the action on stage does not interfere with the gatherings and all the processes that take place backstage. This is particularly crucial because backstage involves not just performers, but also various professionals like lighting technicians and costume designers. We are now in the back of the stage complex, which is called the area stage. This is where sets are often stored. As you can see, some of them are even preparations for future performances. The theater can simultaneously be ready for three upcoming ballets. What you see here is a very important set piece of today's stage action. It is a book. costumes, decorations, rehearsals. The tour has plenty to offer to theater lovers. The founder behind the project, Amina Bilgibayeva, believes passionately in the power of art education to transform people. Through the Theater Guide project, she has been leading a fight to combat a deep-rooted prejudice about theater art. The idea to launch the project came to me with the understanding that the audience often visits a theater not fully understanding what they're watching, unfortunately. I feel that this form of art is treated with a kind of carelessness and perhaps superficial attitude. While entertainment is anticipated by all, there seems to be a tendency for a passive stance. Ideally, viewers should be in an active, accepting, acting and reflective position. Of course, entertainment is one of the key parts of a theater. But besides that, the theater has many other functions, including educational and developmental. To encourage the next generation of theatre lovers, one needs to let kids enter behind the scenes into the real world of theatre. The project sought to pique children's curiosity by inviting them to join the tours, given that many theatres present performances suitable for kids. They also offer free tickets for teachers who accompany them. In general, I love theatre and I always visit them. No matter what country I travel to, I make it a point to attend performances in their theaters. But today is the first time when we visited backstage to peek behind the curtains and see what the artists do, to see their props and costumes. We'll learn how the artists change clothes. It was a very unique and captivating experience. It was also a pleasure to witness children listen and watch with joy in their eyes. 
Today, I had the opportunity to see what's behind the scenes, the dressing room, and I've always wanted to see how artists prepare and so on, how all the lights and musicians work. It was very interesting. What stood out most to me was the big book. I learned that there is a special surface for ballerinas so they don't slip and fall, because I always wondered how they didn't fall down. <laughs> It is very important to encourage visits to theaters, exhibitions, galleries, and in general the craving for art and culture from a very young age. It should start in the family. If initially our focus was primarily on children, now we've come to understand the equal importance of catering to adults as well. We support family visits because it's important that at the dining table when parents and children come together, there is something to talk about. Children often imitate what they observe, so it's very important for parents to lead by example, and the children will pick up on it. The colorful history of the performance, its key characters, and the peculiarities of this specific production are all covered in the lecture part of the tour. Astounding Ballet Theatre architecture adopts a modern style, which aligns with the theatre's overreaching concept. Its repertoire encompasses a fusion of modern, classical and even national choreography. Today's performance, Cinderella, is an example of combining modern and classical elements, often referred to as neoclassical. This ballet takes its inspiration from a literary work, the timeless music of Prokofiev, which he composed for the original version, became so famous that it serves as an inspiration for many choreographers to this day. Today's rendition is choreographed by Nadezhda Kalinina, where she has combined many interesting elements of the neoclassical style. <laughs>